What's happening people? Welcome back to Out of the Loop. Uh, so today I have done a little project. So I have built like a full uh, 16 bar loop and then with an intro in there. And uh, I'm going to be giving it away in my Patreon so you guys can download the project and then uh, check out the samples and the presets and stuff like that and then uh, learn from it or you can use it if you like. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you a little demo of what I'm going to make or what I've made in the end. If you And then if you guys like it, you can watch the uh, rest of the video and see how it's all done. All right, cool. Let's get stuck in. So I'm going to do a, well, pretty much to start to finish, I'm going to do like a good little intro build up and then into a nice groove. And then the project file, I'll be giving it away on my Patreon. Uh, the sounds that I'll mostly be using will be from Serum. There's a, a, a preset pack that I just finished called Bloom and it's out now. It's available on my website, which is linked down below. Uh, if you want to support the channel, please like, subscribe and comment. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the project making. So um, I have like my standard things set up, just like a nice kick. I uh, don't know why I have this EQ on here, let's take this away, let's have a listen. Yeah, I don't really need this dip there. So yeah, just a nice solid kick. And then I uh, have Diva open, some an empty drum group, and audio file, and then complete for a piano. Ooh. These are just the tools I usually use to like build something. I'm just going to open up Serum now, as we're going to use mostly Serum, I, I'm thinking. Probably going to make some melodic house, could turn into melodic breaks. I guess you'll be able to tell by the title of the video. Uh, but we want to go a bit faster, maybe like one, two, four. And let's get Serum up. So I think I'll flick through some pads. I think I want to create a bit of atmosphere first before I do anything. Oh, I do have this sound. Where are we? Just gonna get some volume. So this was uh, that sound there was from the Odessa uh, remake that I did on the Sound Design channel, and so I put that preset into the pack. Just get the volume right. There we go. So it's something I like to do just so the volume is nice and loud and uh, the quieter parts of the of the project, whatever they are, will be boosted up a little bit in volume. And I'm also then setting the ceiling. So the loudest element will be the kick and that's what's punching the, the, the ceiling. So now let's get something with this maybe. Got to figure some chords, I think, before I do anything, or I might just flick through some other sounds. I do like that. Thank you. 
loud. Hmm. Could start with a nice arc, maybe. Oh, I like this one. to start off with. Something like this would be nice. Turn it up a little bit. Yeah, I think this could be quite cool. I'll just flick through some other pads, see if... Something like that is very nice just for atmosphere. Okay, so one thing I might do just beforehand is see if there's some cool stuff um, in like this acoustic pack, just so I can see what key I might want to work in before I lay down any notes with the MIDI. I mean, I can always change it, but there might be some cool sound, say in this like tonal thing. And then I might be like, oh, okay, I want to use that key. Thinking something like a little arp. So I might go back to the one that was done before. Or if I hear like a cool rhythm, you can always make it into something harmonic.
It's quite cool. Hmm. Okay. A few more. Yeah, these are nice. That could be cool. So let's try this. Put C minor here. And then you could just match a drone here. So C minor is like this. Let's try C minor pentatonic. And we go C. Could just hold down a C, legato. Turn this down. Yeah, see what notes these are, what notes are being played with this. Let's put like an EQ on, or a tuner you could use. I find it a bit easier with an EQ. So you can see we've got C, C, D sharp, and F, C, D sharp, and F. So now if I put this, D sharp, F, F or F sharp? I think it was F. Yeah, F. All right, cool. So say if I had that, I could try put like the resonator on though. Let's try with like this Berlin preset. Go to C. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. And... Could make it more um, snappy. Maybe try like this. I like this, the tone that this gives off, that kind of like guitar y feel. Maybe I get rid of these. And we could do the, the, the exact note. So C and then we go one, two, three. So three up instead of seven. And then seven I think is the F. So one, two, three, four, five. That's five. Let's try. So it's just exaggerating on the notes that are already there. Then maybe we can try the fifth as well on this one. That's kind of what we're adding, that, that bit of tone. Bring the gain down a bit. All right, so this is like a nice nice little place to start, right? So then we can maybe go, let's just duplicate this. And then maybe this section here could go down or up. Let's try, uh, we will try consolidate this now, or it's a bit shorter. Then go complex pro. Put it up to 12 semitones. Let's try that first. Maybe down. Ooh. Try these on top of each other. Yeah, so I think we'll do that. So maybe like duplicate this, have the top, the high layer, mid, and then we go like this. Right, nice. So now we can 
add a base, I think. Let's go serum. I think I've got some cool base patches in here. Let's try from the top. Um, I really don't know the scale, but uh, I know that I can press C, D sharp and F. So maybe we do like... That's not the time. I think I want one more note in there. So let's just see what I can press. Scale C minor. I'll leave it on just minor because it could be good to use some of the other notes. C. It's a bit loud. Could do that. Till that here. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll just put it in manually, it will be better. So uh, it's constantly going up, which is like optimistic, but maybe I'll try going down. Yeah. And this is too soon. There. Loop it. Dum da dum. I think it needs to go dum da. Dum da. Dum. Up here, maybe. Try starting on the on a different note. Nah, it doesn't feel like it resolves with the C. I think we'll go back to the C because it's the one. I can't remember what are good notes to end on. So like the four or the five, I think maybe. So the five would be the F. I could go back to the F. Let's go back to the C up here. Or maybe just keep the G. Yeah, that works. All right, cool. Got a nice bass. 
And now, this is where the fun starts. We're going to get some, some other little complimentary melody in here. I might just see if I can get this MIDI information here. Just like the rhythm of it. And let's load up Serum. Let's try one of the plucks. Uh, mallet. <laughs> Could work, actually, the, like the extra notes that are in there. It's a little bit too much, um, so I'll just figure which notes to get rid of. Yeah, like here is a bit crazy. Like this maybe is one too many. I think this was good. Loop this, duplicate it. Yeah, it's cool. Um, maybe something at the end could try going to the G yeah I think I like it going down we'll leave it for now can always change it all right, so we got our lead. And maybe we want some kind of effect sounds or something like that. I'm not sure if I actually have effect sounds in here, but we can definitely make some. So just like little ear candy things. And I think kind of like the, there's like a warp sound I've got. Or maybe even this could be cool. So we could try... Uh, nope. So spread that out maybe. So Yeah, like this and we put like a big shimmer on it, because why not? Oh, and just kind of like wash it and then it could be quite cool. Put like the dual reverse, this EQ it so you're not getting the real lows in there. Maybe make it really big. And we just try like a... It's a cool like big horn sound in a way. Uh, so this, essentially want to press these together but maybe spread this out. So even just that, like, because it plays out because of the release, maybe put this even higher. Yeah. And then maybe try another little combination. D sharp. Um... G chop, so the fifth from that, and then maybe the the hmm C It's not right. Hmm. 
some of a combination, I think. F, C, F, C. It's essentially the same, but maybe the other way around. time just kind of at the start maybe even like this too bright. Yeah. What I should do is kind of follow the note here. So F, yeah, so like F here. And it's kind of what I'm doing. And it would just sound a little bit more harmonic. So like here. Yeah, I like it being a little bit early. I'm not sure if the notes are correct, but so with the bass, I'm playing the new the uh, what's it called the tonic, and then the fifth above. So this plus um, one, two, three, four, five, the D. No, it's not the uh, seven notes. But yeah, it should be the fifth note in the scale. But let me just count it from here. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, the C. And then I'm playing the. Yeah, okay, okay. So, from here, when the bass. Ooh, the bass changes, we want to make sure that we're pressing the F to match it, the C, and then, yeah, I could just do like that. Maybe something like hmm. maybe just the one. Yeah, it's quite a cool effect. And what I might do is just freeze it. Put the audio down here. Oh. And then we've got this. And if I reverse it from here, it's got kind of like a sweeping. Turn this off. Yeah, cool. Um, might do a, one other thing. It's like a little white noise blast. So just find C3. Can't find it. Ah, there we go. So maybe like there. Open up Serum again. And we just put the white noise oscillator on. Uh, maybe like bright white. Take off this. Yeah, something like that. Maybe more volume. Loads of reverb. Turn it down. No, no release. Hmm, maybe a different one. Maybe more volume. This will be cool when I have drums in because the clap will come in just when this finishes. Turn it down a bit. All right, cool. I think this will work.
And I might just do another one, like make a little hat. So we could just do like 16s uh, or like a shaker. Do like this and like that. Do like a polymetric pattern. So copy from here and just copy it over. Something like that, put another one here. And then loop this over. Come to the white noise and then just make the envelope. Ah, we could use any, use that, make this like this. And then we want the velocity to be sensitive to this. And we want it to be like both ways. Maybe less decay. Maybe less decay here, it's a bit big. So it'd be quite cool to add this decay move, so we can just put a, a thingy on here. A bit less. Good if it went both ways, no, not just... makes much difference yeah I like this could even add in a little synth let's just see what it will sound like put this on here the velocity. Fine tune it. Maybe some like bit crush or something like that. Or diet. this to be I do like the triangle I might try it with like a bit more of a like a slight <laughs> So I think now we have some nice melodic stuff in here, also some like hi-hats. Um, let's try adding some drums. And maybe should sidechain some stuff as well. Just use this to sidechain for now. Maybe like this, ratio all the way over. <laughs> And let's grab like the kick. Now 
now I'm just going to add in some stuff like uh, maybe a snare or something like that. Um, let's use some stuff I might have in here. This could work. Let's loop it, turn it down. Yeah, nice. We've got a nice little groove going on. I think we need just like a solid hat. So let's just grab like a nice hat from somewhere. Let's have a look. Uh, deep premium. Could be good. Could be good. Okay, uh, just a standard hat. Where are we? C3 here. Let's loop this. few little ghost hits like a little like that kind of like a really soft I'm EQing, this is EQing before the sidechain signal reaches the sound. So I'm EQing the kick, essentially, or EQing the signal. And so the kick will stay the same, but the signal that's being sent in is going to be a bit thinner. So it's going to be the top end of the kick, which is like the click. So it sends for a quicker signal, which makes the compressor react a lot quicker rather than a big, like, subby thump. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this lead in there with this. Turn this lead down as well. It's a little bit too in your face. side chain I think it's quite a lot. nice and loud all right cool i think I have a nice solid little thing here a little project here let's uh see if we can jazz it up a little bit more what else could i add let's have a look in c minor just in my folder of goodies could always have random stuff in here
kind of want something vocally, really. There's a lot. This is cool sound. Adding to that kind of flip. Maybe a bit of like a filter delay on this so it just kind of floats around your head a bit. Let's just make a second section. Well, I guess this is kind of a long section, but anyway, let's go like here. And maybe with the bass, we get a bit more aggressive. Just open it up a little bit. So I'm just going to attach a macro here. Um, yeah, I think that will do actually just the filter. And we can just go like this. Touch it. Let's call this filter. Do like this. Maybe just towards the end here, starts coming up, and then this goes up a little bit. Not all the way up to there, maybe it just matches, or it could increase gradually over time here. I think here it might be quite cool to do like a or like some kind of little change. So like down, boom ba, boom ba, boom ba. That's what I've got in my head. could duplicate a little bit more maybe so we can go um, to the sustain so add a macro to the sustain and maybe to the decay as well move this a little bit just to add a little bit more energy so we go like this <laughs> Noise blast is really nice now. With the Especially if you like take the kick away, like all the way here. 
All right, so I think this is like the main groove and loop. What I'll do now is just build a little bit of a intro to build up into it, see how it drops, and then uh, that'll be it. And I'll be giving this whole project away on my uh, Patreon so you guys can just steal it. Uh, so I think what we'll start with is some of the atmosphere stuff. Uh, what do I have? This is empty. We have this, which is going to be cool. Just put that there. Maybe this or maybe that would be nice to add but I'll put it in there for now and uh, what else the drone for sure maybe this guy I think that works great. Don't need to do any uh, fanciness here. It drops nicely. Um, so yeah, if you found this helpful, guys, or an educational, and you want to support the channel, please head over to the Patreon where you can grab this entire project file with all the samples, the serum presets that I've used. Uh, and you can grab them just for the lowest donation, which is three dollars a month or whatever, or three pounds a month. Um, if you don't want to grab the pack. Uh, sorry, if you want to, if you do want to grab the serum pack, it'll be on the website, uh, which will be linked down below. You won't be able to purchase it directly through the website, but there's an email address there. You can send me an email. I'll send you the pack and then you send me the payment and uh, simple as that. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this and you want me to do more things like this, like making a, a quick track in a, in a few, um, I don't know how long this took but uh, in a little while, uh, then let me know in the comments as well and like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, guys, my name's La and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.